Hey guys, Joe Donahue. I know it has been a, uh, a crazy few days. We acknowledge that. We know that because of the coronavirus, everything is disrupted and everything is changed. And while we were on that topic of disruption and change, we wanted to begin uh, on our Facebook group with our daily devotionals talking about our four core values that we have here at Calvary. Uh, they, these are the things that are the foundation of who we are how we identify ourselves in our community. These are the four core values that you and I have as individuals who belong to Calvary Baptist. And so these are the things that we identify with. Calling, character, connection, and change. Those are our four core values. And boy, haven't we experienced change. We are adapting. We are flipping our home schedules, our work schedules. We're trying to uh, make this work, continuing to maintain connection with our church family through uh, virtual reality, if you would, or, or video uh, conferencing and connecting that way. Today, I wanted to talk to you about your personal calling. Let me read to you uh, a passage of scripture from Ephesians chapter 2, beginning in uh, verse 8. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift of God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Calling. See, you were called away from your old life when you became a follower of Jesus. You were called away from sin. You were called away from sinful lifestyle, sinful patterns. And you became a follower of Jesus and you were called to do something after that. You were called away from something and you were called for something. Your life matters in this crisis that we're facing right now. Your life matters in this uh, craziness of the world that's happening today, right now. It's more than a purpose. It's a calling. God called you out of the darkness. God called you into the light. And if you look at the end of that passage that I read, he has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Your calling is to do what God has called you to do. Now, presently, that we believe that that is a uh, leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. We do good works to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. What can you do in the midst of this crisis? What can you do in the midst of social distancing? We talk about it daily. Knock on your neighbor's door. Ask friends and family how they're doing. Share your bread. Share your hamburger meat. Share your milk. Share your butter. Do things in such a way and live your life in such a way that people will tell you have a calling on your life. Not just a purpose. Not just a plan. Not just praising God. But that God's calling is on your life. He loves you and he's called you to do something great because you are a masterpiece and masterpieces do great works because we're being painted by our great God.